All right, everybody, first ride on the new Kawasaki Supermoto. Yeah, I don't believe in destiny. I just do what's best for me. Don't listen to my enemies. They're just full of jealousy. Yeah, this legacy. You gon' see what's left of me. You gon' see success in me. You ain't seen the rest. I of just me. wanna be the best at what I know. Better than the rest, just watch me grow. Put me to the test and watch me go. This is my quest. I'm making it. Don't make it. Call me obsessive. Oh, I know. Call me selective with my notes. Call me aggressive with my flow. Call me offensive. Don't be yanking a lot. Oh, yeah. Definitely taking the lid off, even without a tune, definitely see the pants torque. It helps. But again, this is the Supermoto, so there's a couple key changes with this bike. We're going to hit some twisty action and talk about those. Wow. Yeah, lidless setup. Without a tune, that definitely helps. So, immediately from the cockpit here, you can see that we don't have that crossbar like the 300 Dual Sport. These bars are more like fat bars. Man, I might take the lid off on the 300 until the exhaust comes in to get some more sound. So before we get into it, let's go ahead and talk about ergonomics since we're talking about the bars. So these soft bars feel a bit narrower than the dual sport bike, but it kind of feels like the pegs are back a little bit. Could just be a little bit of a placebo. But with the Supermoto, you feel really tucked into the bike. Like you can really Squeeze the knees, got your arms in here at a good point of leverage. These bars are rolled forward a little bit. position on the 300 Supermoto here feels a little bit more aggressive than the Dual Sport. Feels like you're a little bit lean forward, your knees are in tight, your feet are back a little bit. In terms of ergonomics, that's really all that's different between the Dual Sport and the Supermoto here. Now let's talk about the other differences with the bike. Obviously, it's a Supermoto, so you get the 17-inch setup. You have a 110 up front, 130 out rear. Probably squeeze a 120 up front and a 140 rear, I believe. I believe those are the tire sizes people would put on the KLX 250 SF. Having that extra rubber, man. With the 17 inch setup, you get a 300 millimeter rotor up front, and I believe it stays at 240 in the rear. They bring you to a stop real good. Don't feel like the tires are gonna lock up and start sliding on you.
so talking about the power, supposedly the power has been optimized to get that punch out of corners. Like I said, lid removed on their box, but it definitely seems to have a bit more low end and mid range than the stock, than the KLX 300 dual sport. As you can see here, 6,000. That is a nice jump right there. What do you think? That's pretty sick. That uh, the railroad right there. Yeah. And but this definitely has some stiffer suspension than that oh, yeah. for the road. I'm just gliding. Oh yeah, this thing is way stiffer than the 300 Dual Sport. But in terms of specs. The Supermoto has one inch less suspension travel at each end, so we're at nine in the front, or 9.1 I believe, 8.1 in the rear, and if you put a dirt setup on this, you have a little bit less than the Dual Sport in terms of ground clearance, but yeah, the power definitely seems like it's there down low. And it still has that nice top end charge right at 7,000 as we saw from the Dynograph. 60 miles an hour and as you can see we're at about 6,000 rpm stock gearing on this bike is 1437 i believe so kawasaki compensated for the tire size in comparison to the dual sport and the dual sport is 1440. let's get some more twisty action to really show you guys how good this bike is what people are going to be using this thing for. composed on the road obviously and I think that's what Kawasaki was going for and they definitely did a good job of it the suspension doesn't feel like it's diving that much in comparison to the 300 now we're here to the lot we're gonna go ahead and race these bikes so you guys can see the difference between all of them Oh yeah, that. Which one's faster? I know this like feels like has more punch. You have the lid off, but it, it still kind of feels even with the lid on like it might have a bit better uh, low end mid range. Because oh, yeah. that's what the well, that's apparently what they tune it for is better low end, yeah. like grunts out of corners. That's like high strung. It's kind of like a, sheesh. I don't know. <laughs> I guess dual sport. You know, oh, yeah. uh, legs for the highway, but. You know, I dig, the, I dig the suspension. I like it. Yeah, it has like an inch more at both ends, but this is stiffer. And the rebound, this is like a lot more controlled. That's kind. Right. Oh yeah, <laughs> that'll get fixed. Yeah, I'm gonna gear mine down like this because this thing really is way better than this. Really? It comes up so much better. You don't even need to clutch. You don't need to clutch at all. Just oh, and first, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get the gear down. Yeah, if you gear that down probably like a 13 tooth in the front and then maybe to like 39 or 40 Make it yeah even 40. well 39 would probably be pretty easy to find because that's what the sf used to be 
I was surprised when I popped it up and it was kind of coming down. And it has it has enough power to catch it. Bring it back up, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm digging the gearing. Alright guys, so to finish off this video, we are now back on the 300, so we can go back and forth, back to back comparison. My friend there with the 300 Supermoto was saying that this feels a little bit easier to, you know, clutch pop this thing, which is interesting because I thought that had a little bit more low end. Maybe it was more in the mid-range where you felt the power. But yeah, the suspension is definitely softer on this. Still can do that though. <laughs> so like I was saying, the Supermoto is definitely set up very well for the road. I was surprised the suspension was actually pretty dang good for a stock bike because I know a lot of people like to change the suspension on a stock bike, but I think Kawasaki, you know, pretty much nailed it for what people are probably going to use that for. On the track, hidden twisties, city shenanigans, if you're going to be hitting jumps on the street and whatnot, it's going to soak them up real well because the compression damping is definitely stiffer than the dual sport but the dual sport you want it to be a little bit softer for the trails it makes it easier on the rider when you're riding the bike off-road you're not putting a lot of energy into your trail riding experience have you another advantage the 300 supermoto has is the brakes the confidence on the road if you're a new rider and you're just gonna be on the street I'd like to say the Supermoto is probably better for you because you have that extra confidence of the brakes. You have more confidence that they're not going to lock up on you. And as a new rider, that's probably the scariest thing when you're trying to brake. The front end locks up. But again, back on the 300 Dual Sport here. You're in a bit more relaxed position. Your back's up straight. Your elbows are just kind of relaxed here. Your knees, your knees are still below the gas tank. But the Supermoto, like I said, it kind of feels like the pegs are set back a little bit for sporty riding on those twisty roads. And like I said, the main difference in terms of specs is suspension and ground clearance, obviously. Even with the dirt setup on the Supermoto, you're gonna have a little bit less ground clearance but there's things you can do to mitigate that, like popping the wheel over the obstacle you're trying to get over. Most of the time when you're riding off-road, it's not like you try and smash the skid plate on purpose. <laughs> oh yeah. There we go. One inch less suspension travel at both ends, but we talked about how the suspension is tuned differently. So now finishing off the video, obviously in a different scenery here be sure you stay tuned for the upcoming videos with the 300 because we are in the desert but finishing off the video the dual sport and the supermoto quick ride there there are a few key differences like we talked about in the video I don't know, let me know down in the comments which one you prefer. The suspension out of the box on the Supermoto is pretty sweet. But the Dual Sport, doing stuff like this, is pretty awesome too. So be sure you stay tuned for some desert action on the KLX 300. There are going to be some fun videos. Of course, we got the KX out here as well. But if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it to your friends. Those may enjoy it or find it useful. And of course, if you're not subscribed, Go down there, hit that subscribe button, get the bell on to keep up 
with all the action. But with all that being said, join the club and I'll see you in the next one.